black girl magic is everything. So that's, um, I just feel like black women are magical. You know, we have a very heavy load um, to carry. And I feel like despite the load that we have with our families, with ourselves, um, we still show up. Um, we are, we're still strong. We are um, uh, determined and um, powerful. And so I feel like we encompass and we, we embody um, that magic. Shared traumas um, are something that I wish wasn't true, um, but black girls are more likely to be molested and raped um, by someone in their household um, or someone um, close to their household and not talk about it. And um, their parents know about it, but it's always our business is our business. Um, no one outside of this household should know anything about what happened. Um, and I've met too many women um, from childhood on that have experienced that and have been told to keep quiet, have been told it wasn't that bad. Um, you'll be all right, it'll make you stronger. Um, so don't worry about it, don't think about it. Generational trauma. I feel like we need to break it by acknowledging it first. I feel like that's something that swept under the rug. As I got older, I realized that domestic violence against women ran in my family but we never talked about it. It's like, okay, that's just normal. Or if I tell people like what he did now, they're like, that's why you broke out with him? It's like, we accept it, but why do we, we don't have to accept it. If we keep accepting it, we're gonna keep passing it on. If we keep, you know, not allowing us to talk about it with our family, if our families are closed-minded about that, it's gonna keep going on. Cause if I felt like I didn't have anybody to talk to my family about it, I feel like it would keep going on, especially if I had girls. So if I had girls and I wouldn't pass on that knowledge to them because, you know, it's just a closed subject, there's no way that we'd be able to break that generational trauma. It would just keep going on and on and on. But thankfully, I'm able to talk about it with my family. I'm able to say, like, it wasn't right. So how do you think that's right? That someone was beating me and it was okay. It's not okay. You know, you got to put your foot down and be like, it's not okay. And don't, you know, don't try to tell somebody else in our family that it's okay because it's not. More women are talking about being vulnerable and being open and going to therapy for past hurts and past um, incidents and past things that have been forced upon us um, that we've had to deal with on our own or not deal with at all. Um, and that, I love that as well because there's a resounding healing that's happening amongst us. We um, we need the help, but we're not asking for it. And uh, I think black women particularly, I feel like that's a women's disease in general, but particularly black women, we're so accustomed to holding the load that we just, we just bear it. And we don't sometimes just drop the load. And um, I think that would be accomplished through supporting one another with um, whatever it is that we need, you know, because um, we're all experiencing the same, we all have the same load. It might be different, you know, bags, but it's the same load. So I would, that would be uh, definitely be most important, I think, is to, that we need to support each other and um, ask for help. So in the process of the support as well, you know, I think, I think we also have an issue with, um, with saying that I need, like, you know, like, sister, I need you. Like, I need, I need this. This is like being honest and open about what we need in order for us to, to support each other too. So that all comes back to the same circle. So I feel like we have to acknowledge it and be open to talk about it. That's the thing of, you know, sometimes with black families, you're not allowed to talk about certain stuff. They're like, shut up, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's how some families are. But if we don't acknowledge a problem, there's no way for us to fix the problem. So I feel like we need to acknowledge it first and be open to talking about it. I, I just, I'm always hopeful that we're coming out on the other side and coming out more resilient and, uh, and stronger. Um, and having weak moments doesn't make us completely weak or incredible or like, or it doesn't discredit us um, whatsoever. Um, and so I'm, I'm loving the, the change I'm seeing with that.